here we go 24 hours later on my kefir this is my kefir that is from the starter it's nice and solid it's good to go back in the bag this is my kefir with the grains I've got a lot of whey again i am getting better kefir growth here though so it's definitely activating so we're going to strain and drain both of those today this one's going to just go in here I'll leave a little bit in the bottom. Oh, hey, I found my rubber band from yesterday. Haha, <laughs> I knew it would turn up. Okay. Get some milk on that one. how many more I'm going to get out of this one though it um, has done four or five of them and oops that was the wrong one to use but it's probably getting close to its end of life put it back in there okay let me get my colander out and which container I used just for this one Plastic, plastic, and we're going to just pour it in. Whoa, that's so thick. A lot of whey. I don't know why I'm getting so much whey. There's a lot of whey coming through. It may still be activating. You see it just dripping right through. The kefir milk yogurt is getting thicker though, and there's more of it than there was last time. So that's promising. It's definitely not as thick as the um, kefir starter still, for some reason, it's, it's just not. I'm not sure why it's like that. There's a lot more kefir grains in here though holy cow in just two days it's like huge in size so this definitely looks it's thicker than the other one yesterday i guess quite a bit thicker it's still a little bit grainy getting it all over the place Okay, I'm going to put this back in that same jar. A bunch stuck to the bottom. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to stir it around a little bit to get it all. I'm going to add it up here. Let's bring it in here and see what we can do. Let's get that out of there. All right, let's stir and stir. Get some more of this liquid out. Let's see if I can get it down to just the grains for you here. The grains are growing, which is great news. I was afraid that it was going to take me a long time to get extra grain, and I really do want to have supply of grains that I can share with everybody so that's the goal stirring and stirring okay so I have more than I did yesterday There's still quite a bit of liquid in there let's see if I can shake it in I would say I have probably well a good big teaspoonful And the little bitty ones are getting big enough that they're not going through the holes anymore. So we're going to put those back in this jar. Pop. That little bit of extra will go in there. Heat up my these back in. So the cupboard with the lid on and some milk. grains in first because they it helps to mix them up a little bit with the milk coming in and on that note back in the fridge or the cupboard it goes and we will check in again tomorrow